Hey, here's a quick video about replacing the Magnetron on a GE Profile. Uh, looks like it's a model PEB7226SF1SS. Uh, but I bet you these all kind of work the same. So unfortunately, I already did this repair and then thought about the video. So I thought I would just step you through uh, just to, just what it's about. So it's really easy. Part was $122 at appliancepartspros.com. The guy to come out and fix it wanted a $200 trip charge plus $200 something for the part, $238. And, um, and I think it was going to be like $300 for all the labor and the trip and all that. So uh, the microwave itself is $399, but then you got to buy a $200 chrome like thing to put it in your cabinets. And that uh, just makes it not feasible. So I thought I'd buy the part and try it out, and it was really easy. So I figured I'd at least make the video to tell you how easy it is. So. Here's the old one. I'm going to use the old one to show you how to replace the new one without taking this all apart again just because I'm lazy. So the first thing to note, the screws on the back, they're these security screws. And they have a little pin in the back. So I had to buy a $6.99 kit at Amazon to get what I think is like the T15 or T20 um, with the bit. And so just plan on that or at least look at your, your screws. But what you've got is one, two three, four screws, the top comes off, no problem. The magnetron is on this side of the microwave and literally it's just hanging like this, kind of on a wall. And uh, there's two plugs underneath. So what I did was just to make sure I could put it back together, I labeled it left and right and I just unplugged them. They're just simply a plug. And then everywhere you see a hole here, there's probably like a screw on each side to mount it. There was one on the top and like a kind of a little shroud thing. And all you're really doing is take unscrewing like four, maybe four or five screws just to free this. And it uh, it comes right out then. And then what you do is you just plug in this through the hole back into the wall, remount it with the screws you took out, re-plug in these, the left and the right one, and that's it. And then you just put your top back on and you plug it in and give it a go. So if your microwave is not heating at all, then it's probably this $122 part, which again, I don't work there. I don't have any association with them, but it's my appliancepartspros.com is where I got it. And uh, there's the part number in case, this is the old one, of course, but worked for me. It was cheap, a lot cheaper than replacing the microwave. Bye.